Welcome to Go Mustang Sports. I am Dave McHugh, joined by women's volleyball coach Dave Trumbo. And after a relatively successful week of games, five games down, five wins with only a set dropped, uh, I know you're looking for this team to continue in sync and to continue playing well, despite the set drop, which we'll get to in a minute. A good week, especially because you secured uh, home court advantage in the conference championships. Yeah, that, that was big, you know, to secure home court advantage. So we know that in the uh, MAC tournament, the Commonwealth Division, we're going to host as long as we keep winning. Uh, struggled a little bit this week. Um, a lot of close games against teams that we probably weren't, shouldn't have been that close to, and and then dropped us dropped a set uh, to Hood, which actually prompted a team meeting. <laughs> uh, we had uh, that I did not call. Okay. None of my captains called. Uh, on Monday we didn't have practice, and uh, so they decided they had a team meeting, and um, it wasn't that we don't have drama on our team, <laughs> which is, but we're not playing as well as we could right now. Sure. And so that's what was talking about that that the, the level. Wake things up. Yes, and we got to ramp them up and. The level of play is not acceptable. And you say close games, despite winning three nothing, the sets are close. The sets are close. The teams are. We're not playing extremely well. The teams that we're playing are really fired up. Um, sure. A lot of times it's on their home court, and we kind of got that feeling last night because we hosted Arcadia. It was senior night. It was only the second time all year we've been home during the week, and there was a lot of electricity in the air. The kids came out and they played fantastic. Arcadia is another one of those teams that. We shouldn't have problems with. You got big target on your back. Yeah, we could have had problems. Yeah, uh, we didn't last night. We played really well. Um, everybody got a chance to play. Everybody chipped in and did their did their job. Uh, team meetings seem to have worked because we're going to need everybody pulling in the same sure. direction all this weekend. This team has not lost a game in conference. They ha it is preeminently a team everyone's looking at. Despite what regional rankings or NCAA tournament results have, res have shown, you're that team that everybody wants to beat when you face them. It, that's got to be a major factor. Everybody's bringing their A game. Absolutely. Everybody wants to be the first one to beat us. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> Everybody, and you know, we really don't even talk about the fact that we are undefeated and we've never lost the MAC conference right. you know, um, match. But everybody um, else knows that. But everybody else knows that because it's said over and over again. You know, twenty-two straight or whatever, right, exactly. whatever it is. We don't even dis we don't even discuss that. Uh, we have one more MAC conference match coming up next Tuesday against Alvernia, and then we've got the tournament. Um, Last night, Messiah lost to Lebanon Valley, so Messiah will be the three seed, Lebanon Valley will be the two seed, will sure. be the one seed, and it's between Widener and Lycoming for the 4-5 playing game, and that's who we'll get in the semifinals. Interestingly enough, you beat Widener, Hood, Lycoming, and Arcadia in four games in, you know, in essentially three match days uh, to wrap up that number one. Now you're going to jump into non-conference action here for a little bit. You do have one more conference game to play, but Saturday, Friday and Saturday, big games coming up. Regional rankings have now come out. You now understand where you sit. You're sitting five in a very difficult region. You've got Christopher Newport at one. Uh, you've got uh, Eastern at two, followed by uh, Juniata and then uh, Carnegie Mellon. Right. You're going to see two, three, and four mm -hmm. this weekend. Yeah. This is a huge weekend for you guys. Yeah, and it has nothing to do with our conference, as right. you said. But if we can win a couple of these matches, one, if we win our conference tournament, it helps our regional, it'll help our NCAA seed. Right. You're in, but it'll help your positioning. Right. If we should happen to lose our conference tournament and we win a couple matches this weekend, it'll help. It'll help us get that at large. Uh, so it is a huge weekend. The kids are so excited because. For once, we're not the hunted. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You're <laughs> you know, the hunted. We're, yeah, we're the hunted. And so it's it, it's going to be a lot more, and the quality of volleyball will be fantastic. So they are really looking forward so to it. So one that. game on Friday, then two games on Saturday. A little odd that uh, as an away team, you're going to be having a gap there on Saturday. Ooh. But you played a bunch, a bunch of tri matches and even a quad match here at Stevenson. You're right. used to that gap. Yeah, it just okay. happens to be at a different position. Right, and we'll, we'll be rested. And you know, usually a lot of times you have two games on Friday, two games on Saturday. Well, you have four quality teams, and they're all at that same site. These games are not going to be 3 nothing. No. So teams are going to be exhausted. So they can't play back-to-back. -back. So right. that's one of the reasons why they're all split well, up. Well, and like the coaching that. staff's going to be exhausted, too, from all the scouting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're not leaving the bleachers the entire weekend, uh, well, I suspect. No, well, we've got tape. You know, right. on all three of the teams, we've already played Eastern, 
Um, so, but Juniata and uh, Carnegie Mellon. And in the, in the rankings, uh, you're sitting five. Muhlenberg sitting six. Messiah, mm -hmm. for now, sitting seventh, which is great for the conference, obviously. But Muhlenberg's looming on the horizon. I don't, we don't need to look that mm -hmm. far down the road. But this is an important ten days coming up. It, it really is. To finish strong, to mentally be ready to win our conference tournament. Uh, no matter what happens over the next couple of days, that conference tournament is the key. Sure. You know, and that this is all preparation it, that if we do win that conference tournament get the NCAAs, we're going to face teams like we do this weekend. So it's not like, oh, we've never seen this level of play before. Yeah. We know what we have to do to be able to win. And these probably one of these four teams is going to be in the finals. Maybe they're yeah. going to be the yeah. other. <laughs> <laughs> Looking uh, senior night uh, against Arcadia was, mm -hmm. was uh, on, on Wednesday night. This is important because you have two seniors who've really been the foundation of this program, especially where it has come and, and where it had come from, Meg Miller and Sammy Perillo. Well, that's perfectly put. I mean, when Sammy and Meg came, we were good. They put us over the hump. Uh, Sammy, um, of course, has the dig record. She's, yeah. her, and her serve receives even better than her digging. I mean, the, pa the how, how well she can pass. Uh, has made such a huge difference uh, in our team. They together now are 126 and 13. It's impressive. Okay, Sammy is the, uh, by far the best libero we've ever had at Stevenson. Meg is the best middle. She just won uh, MAC Conference Player of the Week. Mm -hmm. So she is starting to hit her stride like she a lot of times does at the end of the season. Last year when she she hit you know mid 300s against Juniata, I think it was 386 she hit against wow. Juniata in that. Uh, second round game the NCAAs and so she is starting to play like that Meg Miller and um, so watch out yeah. <laughs> because she she is starting to ramp it up and these two players have rubbed off so well you have underclassmen who have stepped up and from what I've seen at games it seems to be Meg and Sammy obviously leading the way but their confidence really rubs off on the underclassmen oh there's no question we are very young but uh, Sammy will just a lot, you know, sometimes, especially with freshmen, they make a couple mistakes and they kind of start moving away from everybody. Sammy will not let that happen. <laughs> you get in here, you know, because in volleyball, after every, after every point, they're you're together, huddle, you're right? in a little huddle, and then you're back out. And so she will not let that happen. And you, that, you're absolutely right. Your observation is, you know, they instill confidence in the rest of the kids. So they don't expect to lose. Sammy and Meg don't expect to lose. Right. And that goes a long way towards winning. You have these two and a half essential weeks left of the regular season plus conference action. I know for those two, these two and a half weeks are important. They want to get back to the NCAA tournament for a fourth time. They want to make an even bigger dent than last right. year, which was an impressive dent in itself getting to the third round. Is, it, is there an element, though, of having to say to the two of them, okay, pace yourself a little bit, or is it just you do what you need to do? Uh, I don't think so at this point, that I'm trying to pace them. We took the Monday off that we mentioned. Right. We're going to take a Wednesday off next week, and then that's the last day off. Then we're going for it. You know, we'll, we'll go in, we'll, we'll play Muhlenberg and Lynchburg at home. We'll play, and then we'll have the conference tournament. Um, NCAA the following week, if not NCAA, it will be ECAC, I'm sure. Uh, we may even host. I hope we own it. Yeah, <laughs> we're sure. in the NCAA. Sure, yeah. But we're going to be in postseason one way or the other because yeah. that's the expectation. Right. They know that that week's coming. So, no, I don't think, I don't think so. Um, Sammy's gotten a couple good doctor's reports. She's had some elbow nerve problems, and uh, she's feeling a little bit better. Meg's playing a little bit better. So I think we're hitting our stride. Well, it's certainly impressive to watch this team playing above expectations to yep. some extent mm -hmm. as they head into a big weekend against regional powers here. You can follow it all online at GoMustangSports.com, even links to watch those games if you'd like. Of course, the team will be back in action here at home on November 1st, but we'll have a lot of action between now and then, and we'll catch up with Coach Dave Trumbo next week. For Coach Dave Trumbo, I'm Dave McHugh for Gold. <laughs>